He does it so well. The get off, so important, even with the chip. He made the chip miss, he made the tackle miss. Chip, a guy like Sidari Smith, he doesn't always have to be on the edge. When you get into must-pass situations like they were there on third. This time Ryan Bates is gonna take a shot one-on-one -on -one with Donald and there's almost no way. Watch the way he uses <laughs> the block against Ryan Bates. With those snazzy red cleats, boom. And that fancy handwork, throwing linemen around. He left tackle, spent all of training camp playing left guard. Tyron Smith got hurt. He had to go out on short notice and a bad ankle. And so far in this one, he really has been tremendous. They have their best and Shaq Barrett that switched sides to go line up against them. He threw him and for no boom, he just wasn't ready for it. Got on his heels. With your second team tackle, let's put our best against him and here we go. Parsons just right around him, no contest. Well, Derek Carr came out and he was trying to keep an eye on where Devontae Adams was. And then as the pocket collapsed around me, tried sliding up. Catch up with the young rookie. Boom, dip my shoulder and I get right into Baker Mayfield. No time for him to do anything. There we go. You put it back up in the game and they are going to attack him. That's exactly what they did. Shaq Barrett got to go down on Matt Farniak at the guard position and that. Well, that's the problem, right? It, at some point, you've got to go one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be Braxton, Braxton Jones versus Nick Boza. And it's right there, just that, that transition. Yeah, we, we've talked about Nick Boza and his ability to rush the passer, but let's not forget, he's a pretty good run defender as well, working against Cole Komet. Right Look at this guy right here. What do you do for that? I mean, the guy's like a, a grizzly bear dressed up in a Titans uniform. This and against his old team, he brings down the Raider quarterback. Watch the power move by Mack against Illuminor on the outside. It's just a bull rush. Well, you're going to see Jonathan Allen right here, nine sacks a year ago. Nice job using the hands, and people talk about vision. from Because you've got great edge pressure. There's Nick Boza right there, but just don't forget about the guys inside. A little chip as he goes out. It's actually the inter team captain. Bam. Oh, the swim move. Getting through the double team and Jones. And that allowed Highsmith to get the sack. Here Hayward comes up with the, with the fumble recovery. Coming from the top right here. We're going to get Mike McGlinchey out there at the right tackle. Beats him to the inside. He just, he gets so much depth around the corner. You got to help with the tight end shipping. But he gets so much ground. A loss of 10 back at the 30-yard line now. Yeah, and Josh Allen just beats Antonio Gibson on that one, and he sees the action of Dotson. The only hand was on his back. He was trying to hold him and bring him down. Inside here, watch this one. You don't see guys this size making moves like this. That was absolutely brilliant. Royce Newman, the right tackle. We've talked a lot about these tackles filling in for the starters, and he just stayed. He's going to be lined up at that right tackle spot, trying to slow down Trayvon Walker. But look at that first step burst and using the hands. That's the big part. For Watch as he wants to take it inside, but they bounce it to the outside. Watch a sweep of the feet right there by Taylor Jones. Some pullers right here. Boom, get out in front of Henry. He's going to show like he's going this way. Cut back, hit the counter action. And look at that kick out by 55 right there. Holy smokes. What's going to happen from a defensive perspective and then nailing it? TJ Watt just did it. And company have new life. But watch Jones. Extra effort coming down the line and then... Watch this move. Back inside. You set him up with the outside move. You win there. You get Donovan Smith going hard to try and catch up to Micah Parsons. Lucky these guys, you have Hainsey, you have Gedeke, the rookie center inside as well. Second today, losing three right there to the 25. Well, and the clock's rolling because he was tackled in bounds. And that's significant, Kevin. A year ago, Justin Herbert was five for five on third and one rush attempt. Sack of the day for the Pittsburgh defense. And they're trying to they're trying to run what they call a trap pass, meaning the guard. The Raiders are staying on the field here after that sack fumble. They got a two minute warning and two timeouts. Maybe punt it away and, and try and get a stop, but nobody home. Once you try to pump fake it when that guy's unprotected. A lot of help to Mr. Vita Vea all night long tonight. 350 pounds. He can rush the passer. He's a three down player. 
But look at the pressure up front. And then down the back, when Joe Burrow went to his spin move, it's because he couldn't find a target downfield. Well, you just get these big guys getting out in front of that big guy carrying the football, and good things are happening. This is just a mauling. I mean, there's really no other way to say it. They've attacked them up the gut. They've attacked them on the edge. And every time you try and add a body into the mix and try and help against the run. Watch him come down, get Hawkinson. Here it is. Bam! Just, I mean, set. Big number 99, and then he fills the hole. That's outstanding. He's one-on-one, -on -one. Charles Cross, like I said, not a lot of time. Now, as I mentioned, Geno Smith does not, he doesn't feel that, and he doesn't slide up. You've got Phil Hanson. Well, I love what they're doing. They show you overload on this side, big, and now we're going to get out to the edge, pitch it out, hand it to a running back, and follow. They get the rush, and so here you've got, I've got a telestrator that doesn't work, but you got Bradley Chubb coming around, and Geno Smith doesn't doesn't feel him. And he and but the other part of it is he could he could step up. I mean, there is there's a good pocket there. So you're going to see this right there. He slips just enough with and penetration. Then inside DJ Jones. Let's watch this play inside, just one on one against Shaq Mason, a very good run blocker, but simply too quick. You're going to see Lawrence playing. Great block right here. We talked about him earlier. Humphrey, one of the great pickups. You know, they needed some help. Up. Bosa on the outside is on Waller. Waller misses it, so Carr just starts getting in the way. Well, that, that wasn't even much of getting in the way. Boom, right in front of you. Big 99. He's the read. He ran kind of a mess charge. And, and the Colts, I think, are going to use a timeout. able to feel the pressure in the pocket but more importantly you got to know okay if I am not going to get rid of this thing I am going to have to try and get out of the pocket and sometimes when you get into these critical moments you want to make that big play you want to be responsible for making that big throw the Bills had last year was that they just didn't put themselves in position to stop the run in a great way so he's coming off the edge down here at the bottom you're going to see him in there look at that just taking on the tight end this is just all about these guys in the middle re-establishing the line of scrimmage come off the ball push guys around you see them just the push yards skill players who could be a little undersized michael carter 5-8 just gets run over by patrick queen who knocks him back into the quarterback and the rest of the defense is there pittsburgh's got to push them backwards and make them respect them because right now they're just crowding the line of scrimmage because they don't feel like they can be hurt deep at this point. Did not push him down. And here's the pressure again. Cesar Ruiz going up against Grady Jarrett one-on-one. -on -one, and that is a mismatch. And then he's going to come inside. And the Dolphins, they just try to collapse on him. But he gets in there so fast. He three and he comes up with the sack. Houston gets the sack. He has a great lunge off the line of scrimmage. Pushes Fant back. Sam Hubbard, 94. Look how they just stop him. The loose football. All right, really nice rush by Dietrich Wise and get up right where he left off last year. Watch him in the middle of the defensive front. Came from out your left. And now their fringe field goal. But again, Chris, you, you've been talking about this all. Let's get Shaq Mason out in front of this thing, and sometimes Leonard Fournette at 245 pounds just looks like a tank coming downfield, doesn't he? <laughs> Number 10. <laughs> no, this is Isaiah Pacheco. He doesn't have that speed, but he's got When he talked about Filer, he's going to get the block, and then the collapse that comes down here just creating a great lane. Watch this as they're able to create space. Kelly sees it, cuts back to the outside. Good vision, good job up front. Up front, hat on a hat. You're going to see a great job here on the edge by the tight ends. Down block by Mercedes Lewis. You see Davis 84 covering him up. It's a big lane. Barkley gets behind that wall of defenders. That wall of humanity then hits that. Yeah, it's just a great job. You'll see they run a ton of draws. You got this huge space right in that middle. Watch. Follow your center. Hudson goes right. The running back Connor goes in, delivers a block, and you let Murray just do what he does best. This is where the Chiefs are different. They have the ability with Gray, Fortson, Bell being out today. From the first half when they were 
let Jonathan Taylor get downhill from an eye behind the quarterback standpoint. Now they're setting them off set. You know that Lovey Smith personnel to the right, and then you bring a polar as well. You know, and that's just overloading that entire side. And again, Chubb gets to the second level without being touched. Those situations, you've got your backers walked up right there, but you trust what your scouting says, and, and they're not doesn't mean they're gonna blitz and just a great Look at that job also by number 89, Drew Sample, the tight end who came inside. You noted the block by Cap, the 65. All right, nice job on this one. Pulling around. And Gibson doing a nice job with the patience on something like that. Understand that you have an offensive lineman that's going to be pulling from the backside on that. Give that guy a little bit of a chance. Don't just run up his back. Until he's 20 yards downfield. Pulling right here, nobody there. The Panthers are not home. And there goes Chubb all the way down the field. Excellent job by Najoku there, sealing the edge. Taysom Hill, they're running. This sweep, Mark Ingram leading the way. Juwan Johnson kicking out. And I love everyone is selfless. When they go out there, okay, I'm not getting the ball.